Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do negative space filled with bright pattern. So the first thing I want to do is select a bright pattern. Now you can see I'm on the Library of Congress website and I'm going to go ahead and add a tab and it says frequently visited Pexels. There it is. Uh, and again, that's Pexels.com. This is a copyright free resource for high resolution uh, quality photos. Now, all I'm going to do is type in pattern and see what my search results come up with. I'm going to go pattern background and I notice a lot of fun ones. Uh, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and select this red one. Download, download, Say thanks to Scott, he is the photographer. And now the photo is in my downloads. So I'm gonna go back into my project. This is where I am at, at the moment. And I am going to add a layer, new layer. And again, importing a photo. Now this one is in my files under downloads. And I can see, oh, it's thinking. So it is trying to download that. Um, let's see if we can do a different one for now. So these are a few that I have downloaded in the past. This one works. It is a pattern background. I like it very much, and I'm actually only going to use it for half of my project. I love that. I'm going to say done. And that is my pattern background. Now there's lots of different things I can do if I wanted to get a little fancier. It doesn't necessarily work for every project, but don't forget, you can change your blending mode to something a little different and it will blend in very nicely to the yellow background. And I'm gonna stick with that. I like that, linear burn. And that is how you add a pattern background.